Hello, this is Clarice Warner, the girl with the pearls, founder and education director of the Professional Reimbursement Network, LLC, where coding education is key. If you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing to our channel. Just click the subscribe button below. Also, if you would like to receive notifications of our updated videos, please click on the bell and you will receive notification when we post new content. So without further ado, let's get right into our next FAQ for you. Today's question is, what's going on with code 99024? First, let's talk a little bit about 99024 is the post-operative follow-up visit normally included in the surgical package to indicate that an evaluation and management service was performed during a post-operative period for a reason related to the original procedure. Now, CMS has put together a strategy to collect data to value the global surgical services. And they began that a while back using the a G code based on the information that they received, they needed, I guess, additional information. So they decided to expand that strategy and take a look at just using 99024 as the data marker to determine the services that they need to review. There are nine states that are required to report 99024 for any post-operative evaluation and management visits during the surgical post-operative procedures. And those states are Florida, Kentucky, Louisiana, Nevada, New Jersey, North Dakota, Ohio, Oregon, or Rhode Island. So if you are in those particular states, there are a couple other requirements that we need to meet, which we'll discuss in a moment, but those are the states that are now required to report 99024 for any evaluation and management services that are performed post-operatively. All of this began for uh, surgical services performed after July 1st, 2017. So that was the time frame that these requirements were met. This requirement is for traditional Medicare fee-for-service only. And if a practitioner is in a practice that has 10 or more practitioners, then they are re definitely required to report 99024. Practitioners include physicians as well as non-physician practitioners. And there are 293 procedure codes that Medicare has identified that require the 99024 code to be used on, on any evaluation and management service that is done post-operatively. So again, for additional information related to the global surgery data collection, which uses code 99024, check out the Medicare website. Um, here is a screenshot of that information and it gives additional information regarding all of the requirements. Remember, the practitioners are required to report post-operative evaluation and management visits during the post-operative session using CPT code 99024 if they practice in one of the aforementioned nine states, if they practice in a group of 10 or more practitioners, and they provide global services under one of the required, one of those 293 required procedure codes. Are you interested in becoming a certified marketable medical coder? If so, visit our website, ohioprn.com, for details on a free course that lists the five steps to success. You have questions and we have answers. Please post your questions in the comment section. Also, if you have found value in the information, feel free to subscribe to our channel, click the bell for immediate notifications of our new videos, and share the information with others. 
Thanks for watching. Don't forget to click the link to like us on Facebook, click the link to follow us on Twitter, and click the link to subscribe to our channel.